So yeah. I, I thought that I have time. <laughs> I thought it's three hours. I think you look at the Ontario time and not British Columbia. So no, there is a three, three hours different. <laughs> ah. Ah, well, there you go. It's your fault then, isn't it? <laughs> it's your fault for having all these silly times. Right, everybody, here is Adena. Oh, which one is that, Parker? Pia? Uh, this yeah. is Pia. Uh, Pia is the one, one. Yes. Oh, look at those ears, ladies. Look at those ears. <laughs> she is the most gorgeous thing. Thank you. She's just got the ears. And it's sort of like I'm growing my hair like Pia's ears. Yeah. Um, right. So this is Dana, and I want Dana to tell you why she wanted to do this live chat tonight. Absolutely. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't think that the people from uh, my page are going to be here. They are going to be three hours from now. So I'm Dana. Um, I'm working with Scampator United. And I also have my own uh, pages. Uh, some of you know me as Leo, and some of you know me as Romance Scam Spotter. Uh, the reason I'm here tonight is because um, today actually was the anniversary of the time that I received a uh, request from the stranger, and uh, foolishly I accepted and um, i believe everything happens for the reason and uh, sometimes bad things happen to show you the your real path and um, today i'm here i went through hell uh, but i survived you see, so, you see for the message for all of the people who are there and they think that they are a scam and they think everything is going to be same and uh, they are so done at the moment uh, everything is temporarily and you will cover from that um and um if actually oh, do not just make the same mistake again and do oh, it again <laughs> goodness no, I, no we can't do that we can't have that um no i think some people and i can understand this that you know once you realize that what's happened i'm, I'm talking hi air force I'm, I'm talking about immediately afterwards. You can't see now. You can't see so far into the future that there is a future. And I think from what I get from talking to a lot of people is the time just after the scam goes very slowly. Mm -hmm. You know, because you're living, that, you're living the aftermath of the scam every day. Yes. Yeah, I just want to share part of my story for uh, followers that they don't know me. Mm -hmm. um, it was uh, February 27th at uh, 1 a.m. in the morning that uh, I received a friend request uh, from somebody who had the same name as uh, my old friend. I moved to the new city, I was under stress, and I needed somebody to be there for me. And seeing the name, I jumped into it and I accept the request. There was no photo on the profile, so I had no idea who I was talking to. But as soon as I talked to the person, I realized, oh, this is not who I thought it's going to be. Yeah and uh, foolishly i decided to talk to him yeah. and uh, everything has started from there actually the first uh, message uh, was including lots of red flags but at that time i didn't, didn't know no what uh, was no not at all i didn't know even what a scam was about yeah. Yeah. Uh, so he was very good looking handsome with the built muscles uh, doctor uh, who said that um, he originally was from Korea and uh, he grew up in um, Nevada and, um, and uh, he was on the uh, assignment um, with United, uh, United Nations in uh, Lebanon. And he said that he was a um, general surgeon. 
and uh, he said that it was a war over there and uh, he's in the camp helping people. Yeah, I think, and, and you know that they still give the same story. How, yeah, how, the how, story how, is the same. How, um, how, right how, now, after, yeah, after three years when I'm working and seeing every single night, the faces is changes, but the story is same. the same. So the reason I'm here, because I wanted to share part of my story and uh, for the people who doesn't know, um, and hopefully raise awareness. This is I every year, uh, as foolish as it seems, I celebrate this day, and I call it anniversary of uh, meeting someone that I shouldn't <laughs> meet, <laughs> because um, I was I, I'm proud of who I am today, and um, I'm happy that I can help others and bring awareness. Um, so. As I mentioned, he, um, I got all of the red flags from the moment uh, that I yeah. met him, yeah. but I was not aware of that. And um, it took a while um, that he <laughs> built a relationship, and um, and uh, I was not looking for anybody, yeah. even 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 after the six months that I was with him. Uh, he was calling me beloved sister uh, because he considered me. I was thinking it it was going both ways, and he's. I felt that he is my brother, and um, and he was there, very charming. Because you uh, good also, looking. Yeah, you talked to him a lot. You told you mm -hmm. you you told him a lot about yourself, your feelings, your how you felt about things. Uh, yes, and there was, uh, I mean, he, my, at that time, I, I had no idea that there was a setting called private. So my Facebook uh, yes. was public. All of my uh, interests, everything that I was yes. doing was there. The first picture that I got was picture of him with a little guy like this. So yeah. uh, it just uh, melted my heart. And then I realized he was on the fitness, he was very built muscle, and he was uh, making all of the conversation based on my interests. Yes. And I didn't know that he studied on me, but uh, obviously he studied, yeah. he knew who I was, uh, and the conversation and everything was around the area that uh, was interested me. So we connected very nicely. Yeah. And he was um, actually uh, kind of looking down. I was uh, not very comfortable because he was saying that your English is very, uh, very basic and uh, very simple. And actually, he was doing very well. His English was fluent. Uh, but afterward, I found out uh, that basically some of the stuff that he was sending me uh, he was off the internet, uh, all of the beautiful stuff, the poem in the morning, yeah. the good night, all of the uh, nice messages that I was getting, everything was uh, off the internet. I found exactly the same thing. So if I was saying no from the beginning, when I found out that uh, it was not who I thought he was, or uh, I was doing a basic research, uh, I was not in the mess that I ended up to be. Um, he said that he is a doctor. Um, and obviously when you are a doctor, um, it should be articles, something about you on internet. You it was very simple yeah. search to yeah. just type his name, yeah. uh, plus the word scam or even his name. Yeah. Um, and it was there. For some people, yes, you can, when you uh, search on Google, you cannot find because they are using the other name. But uh, even that, you can give you the clue why if he is a doctor and having a good position, why yeah. he's not on anywhere about yeah. him. And, and this is it, you know, and I, I often think, I know we know scams, but 
you know, you've got a doctor who was supposed to be in a war zone. And I would have thought that was quite busy being in Lebanon in, you know, a war. Um, and yet they seem to be hunting for people. You know, I mean, it's funny how we came across you just like that. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't think that, you know, I'm a doctor in Lebanon. Oh, I'm a bit bored this afternoon. I'll have a look and see who's on the who's on Facebook or whatever that I can contact. But I mean, these are all thoughts that people have later. Yeah, yeah. I I didn't question anything. I was seeing. Uh, first of all, I'm hundred percent positive that I was talking to different people. I yeah. didn't realize at that time. Yeah. Um, but afterward, when I was looking at the conversation, uh, I, I yeah. saw, uh, not all of them were safe. Sometimes the guy was very caring, nice. Sometimes, uh, was, uh, very depressed. Sometimes, uh, even angry. Um, and, uh, and, uh, I didn't pick it up at uh, that no, time. Because, um, you know. I think afterwards, you know, it's not that you're looking for it, but you're looking and you analyze the mm -hmm. whole thing a lot better. Where yeah. at the time you just accept it as it's coming yes. in. Yes. Let's face it. And, we're all mood. So, and the you know. other thing well, I was, um, I was, I don't know how to say it, idealizing him. Yes. Um, when I was not thinking, if he was just saying that it was off, in my mind, I was thinking, okay, it should be for this reason. I was not even asking him anything, but I was making this story for myself. Yeah. And, and um, they depend on that because they know that that's what you do. If they can put those things in your mind, then you build up the story yourself. Mm -hmm. You more yeah. put them there with you. Yes. Yeah. So I, uh, this thing just uh, continue six months. Um, I made so many mistakes um, um, that I see uh, the, the other victims is making the same mistake. Like um, after I felt that um, it was something off, I didn't uh, stop talking. Um, and I continue. Yes. Mm -hmm. And after the scam got over, it was lots of blocking, unblocking, blocking and unblocking. And I was just thinking, okay, if I call him out, if I say that uh, you are a scam, it's going to change it, yeah. everything. But it's not. It just uh, made the situation even worse. It damaged emotionally more than even you can imagine. Just blocking and non-blocking and I, I didn't got... find the case until everything I mean got completely blocked um changed my information and I back to normal being me I think I mean sometimes I, uh, depending on who I'm talking to if they if they need you know sometimes you can be serious sometimes you you get people who who you can sort of like joke a little bit and say come on girl Big girl pants on, getting blocked, you know, mm. and it's just a way of getting it across. Because sometimes if you say to people, now what you've got to do now is you've got to block him everywhere, you know, it's a little bit cold, a bit, bit clinical, a bit cold. Mm. And and so sometimes if you can just cajole them along a bit with, mm. you know, um, and, and I think, but it, it has to be done, Dana. And I know we talked i know we said this morning about what we're going to talk about and it was very idealistic i thought when i look back um and you know it's one thing that we always do she's the, oh look um one thing that we always say to people and i don't know how to change this with people we dive straight in because yeah. yeah. it's and and people don't don't know it's a scam at the beginning so we need to get through to people that it's dangerous to accept a stranger. Yes, exactly. Um, I always say, look at this way, uh, because some people come back uh, and blame um, the stuff around it. Like I, um, Facebook 
should I stop this? Yeah. I understand. I, I absolutely 100% yeah. agree with that. But at the same time, I, I'm just thinking this way. Uh, we, regardless of what part of the world we are living, um, there is always robbery. There is always theft everywhere. We know this is the fact. We need to protect ourselves. When we go inside of the home, we lock the door. When we leave the car, we lock the door. Yeah. And the same thing applies to the virtual life. So if uh, basically you stop from the beginning and block, uh, there won't be any scam. Um, it's the same thing. Um, it's always going to be a scammer on one side and we are going to be on the other side. So instead of blaming the around us, it's better uh, to just think about it. This is a fact. There is always a scammers there. There are lots of fake accounts. I need to learn how to protect myself when I'm online. And it is like and so, I mean, I have one, two, three, block, report, oh. delete. Yeah. I wish. Wouldn't I we? wish? Yeah. We could all go on our cruise, couldn't we? If people did that. Yeah. Um, that's a joke, everybody. We always, if we have a hard day, we all go in on a cruise with no wi-fi um just before we came on i had an austin scott miller and when i looked into it i mean i've blocked it i didn't it was one of those ad accounts anyway but it was an austin scott miller and the first two words were hello pretty now even if i didn't know anything about scams i would not expect a general of the united states army mm -hmm. to say hello pretty for a start it's not an american thing it just isn't. You will not get any American man saying, hello, pretty. Um, but we know there are places in the world who love that. And, and they get accepted and scammed more. But don't dive straight in because that is your front door. And if you would not allow in somebody that said, you know, knocked on. The, yes, Annie, can't wait. Um, you know, we, we're going to knock on that door. And, and you're going to open the door and he says, hello, pretty. And you would slam the door in panic. The pervert, the, you know, the pervert at the door. I don't want anything to do with this. And yet online you think, oh, well, that's nice. Because they are very, very polite. And that's the thing mm. in the first dinner. Um, but the thing is, being the polite, do you accept somebody that is rude? Um, as a friend or accept a friend, they need to be this way. They need to be polite, charming. They, be they need to be hide behind a uh, good looking person. Otherwise, you are not going to uh, fall for it. But the question is, um, why? Why do you think a handsome young man or lady, gorgeous uh, person, uh, who has a very uh, good career, like being a doctor, being in the military, having the other people around it, come and contact somebody out of the blue yeah. on internet That's and uh, say, hello, beautiful. Yeah. Hello, my queen. Do you remember me? <laughs> yeah, oh, we get that a lot, don't we? We get that a lot. I mean, well, I don't know whether you were around today when I was talking about him. But, you know, I got three today. I got three Nigerians wanting to marry me today. I was fighting them all. Um, but, you know, the eldest of those three was 22. And I did say to one before I blocked him, I've got two very large sons and they would beat the crap out of you if you came over here. Um, but, you know, one of them said straight out to me, Dana, would you fly to my country? I said, why? <laughs> I was going to block him, and I thought, why? He, he just came out and said that, and I said, what? He said, well, because I want to get married to you. It can be true love. And I thought... How many minutes? How many, after how many minutes? Oh, this was about, about three. It really, it, was, it really was. It didn't go on that long. It, it, that was straight in. You know, um, hello, may I talk to you? Will you fly to my country? So I, so I said... Why? Why do you want me to fly to your country? Now, I then had to get to him because 
and no cutie candy rocks. I'm like you. <laughs> for choice. I really am. But those of you who might have seen this happen once before, I did say to one, <clears throat> one did say to me, and I say it, I'm only on tea. I need gin and tonic to say this. One did say to me, shall I show you my dick and then we can find true love? Well, I didn't know how quickly to find that block. I really didn't. I, I, I've never blocked anybody quite so quick. But we do know that people, Dana, don't you think that people live too much on their phones? Uh, yes, yeah. Um, uh, everybody. Um, and uh, our life is depend on phone. <laughs> Everybody's life. But the thing <laughs> is, uh, even if the person is looking uh, for a friend, not even saying a partner, yeah. um, it's not a place to look for love. Uh, how you can find mm -hmm. a friend or find a love uh, when everything is long distance? Uh, there are, I mean, in all of the relationship we see that um, that ends is basically the people are beside each other and knowing each other and they make a mistake. How do you expect somebody from all over other side of the yeah. world uh, can be friend or partner, lover? Um, and sometimes I see the person even cannot understand what the other person say. The language is different. No. They get a video of the person talking in another language. They don't understand. They just look at the person, oh, how gorgeous this person is. I just love listening to his voice and you'll say, but what did you talk about? Did you have a long video call? Yes. Yes. It was, oh, maybe 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. What did you talk about? Oh, I don't know. But his voice is beautiful. I just listened to it. Now, you know, joking apart, Dana, if you and I were having a video chat mm -hmm. and one of us couldn't speak the other one's language, you wouldn't go on talking for 10 minutes because you, you just wouldn't. Yeah. And, you know, she said, I think he just thought I could understand him. But they look at the picture, see this gorgeous man and think, oh, he's mine, isn't he lovely? And, you know, one thing that we said, and this is a very, very difficult thing to get over, is how to think at every stage and go into what has happened at every stage. Because I know, and we all know, many people will say, well, his accent was a bit funny. Now, they'll give you a voice call. Now they're hilarious, the voice calls. I've got one that I'm trying to cut down and put on. But he, he said to me, what is your job? And I said, I was Queen of England. And he believed me. I have got to let you listen to that. <laughs> really, he said. Really? I said, so I'm actually not looking for a husband. He said, I think I could love you. I said, Charles wouldn't really like it. Oh, no, no he wouldn't. And he really went for it. Um, but, joking apart. Um, but you know, if you meet somebody in real life and you go out for um, you go out with them for a few dates, you might invite them to the house, your sister might not like him, your mother might not like him. But yeah, I was very almost very iffy about my son's girlfriends. One or two I just didn't really like. Um, but then they would go to their home and you would stay in yours. But when you were talking to somebody on the phone, it's like they're living with you. So you don't stand back and think, well, that was a bit strange. I don't think this, I don't think that's right. Mm -hmm. And I, I would defy a lot of people. If, if you were in a real relationship and you've not really known each other for so long and they start to ask for big money, mm -hmm. I know they're, in a war in Lebanon, but, but I defy anybody to think it's okay to be asked for money. Yeah, and um, uh, I don't know, um, I talked uh, with a lady recently uh, that uh, 
she told me something that really ups I got upset because she said um, the life is very difficult. Um, I don't have any income. My husband died um, and uh, my son is away and I'm financially helping my son. And uh, I need to find somebody uh, to help me. And uh, first of all, looking on the wrong place. And then if you need to first depend on somebody, how you can easily give the money when you don't have the money. Yeah. If this person really love you or want to be with you, it should be able uh, to provide, not you to provide to him. And uh, also, if you and, say that you can't prove, you know, if you can't say that you can't pay, we know, Dana, we know that the scammers will say, well, is there anybody you could borrow the money from? Mm -hmm. Well, can you, can you get a loan from online or the bank? bank or something like that now i don't think anybody who truly loved you would actually ask you to borrow money from somebody you know or go and get a bank loan i really really exactly. yeah if this person really wants to get married uh well uh, at least at the beginning um i think should be charming and helping and uh yeah, exactly. provider not this person when this person can take you out and uh for for a coffee uh and this person is uh local you even at that point you start um taking a baby a step and uh um doing your research and take to taking the next yeah. step i don't yeah. know why people jumping uh on something that it's not there. They never seen this person. And it's um, only in the phone. Yeah, and on the phone. Um, and sometimes I get uh, messages like uh, they said, oh, but this person mm -hmm. didn't care uh, how I look uh, yeah. or gap between my oh, teeth. Oh. Uh, he really loves me. If he, he doesn't say the nice word and saying that uh, he loves you, um how you can basically uh rob you get money from you yes. this person needs to look very nice um and uh show that um he will do anything and one thing that with my scammer i was just hearing all the time um i trust you with my uh my my life with you i i do anything for you and immediately after are you going to do the same thing for me do you trust me yeah. and of course it's it's because you know I've, I've noticed a million times if you see the chat from a victim when they ask for money they start off with i love you very much honey ask for the money and then they finished with you are my queen you are my baby you are i love you so much and it, it's so, sort of, so the victim's only reading those two love bits. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not, they're not reading, it, oh, he wants that money, oh yeah, oh, but he loves me. And I, you know, I think if you're in a relationship at home, you know, you go out on a night and, you know, so they go to their place, you sit in yours, you've got time to think about it. But, that's a funny noise, <laughs> you've got time to think about it. Um, but when it's 24 seven in your phone and it is 24 seven, um, it's, it's really strange because it's like they're there all the time. So you have not got time to think and you don't take that time to think. And this is what we've said. And it, <laughs> it's so <laughs> difficult. In the back. <laughs> Somebody asked me, what, what, so you've got a very strange bird. I've never seen one of those before. He said, what is it? And I said, oh, it's a bald eagle. I've got a pet one. He said, oh, really? Is it? I said, yes, it chirps like that all the time. <laughs> Believe me, of course. Um, so, you know, we, we, are, we are 
from a position of being outside and knowing what what's going on so to expect people to how to, to think at every straight stage and not go into it and how to stand back and not send money and this is one thing that i would like to really hammer home to people that once money is don't just give in and send the money because mm -hmm. people will you know they say oh well i told him you should get money from somebody or somebody or somebody or you know he was he was an engineer so go to the embassy or go to you know somebody in in command um in in the camp um but it's it's not really a a series it's you know they'll always come back with an answer but they want you to send the money it's got to be, yeah. it's got to be you and so i would like people to and it's not going to happen i would like people to be able to step back at every stage yes exactly mm. i believe if uh, there will be like a even one day pass from the time that the person asks for money and the person decide to give the money um pause it for 24 hours just think mm -hmm. about it even for my case it was um like him friend daughter and the boss they were messaging me and they were no time to think and it yes. was do it now yes. do it now yes. do it now and um and one of them especially was very aggressive and um, um at the end he said give me my money my money yes well expect yes. that i sacrifice for you a lot um you should do it now and uh, i think if i was just waiting for one day and yeah. thinking about what's going yes. on the conversation yeah. that yeah. i received everything yeah. would right. be different yes yeah. there's sophie just said if you love me you will do it now and we hear that a lot as well but what would you really say that to somebody who you were in love with if i had to borrow that amount of money from anybody because it's always borrowed of course you're always going to get it back mm -hmm. i'd be quite humble about it i wouldn't dare ask but i'd be quite humble about it it wouldn't be oh go and do it now i've told you to do it now go and do it and yet once to me and it doesn't matter how nice they are about it once the money starts it gets quite bullying it might be nice bullying but it's bullying it's pushing all the time yeah and it is, yeah. is control cutie it is morning noon and night as we've said all points in between and when you are talking to your lover be it male or female you are talking to somebody else in in the the movie really because that's what it is isn't it i mean it's a whole movie with characters and so but then one thing we've got to get through to people it's getting worse it's getting worse all the time you would you would think as time goes on there was there would be more around but it is getting worse no, every every day getting worse. I sometimes I have a feeling: is there going to be any real profile on Facebook in future? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because, I mean, because with everything just happening, that uh, Facebook allows that everybody makes six accounts underneath of their main account mm -hmm. um, with the everything that's just going on and the opening the new doors and the technology and everything we see everything every day gets worse and worse and uh, uh so i hope i don't know that's the only hope that i have that um people listen raising awareness i think is the main thing and if uh, people learn um the basic to say no to a stranger uh think do the research if they don't know how ask for help 
um, always ask for help. If you don't know anything about it, but you think it's something quite strange, then ask for help because there's, you know, there is a part that needs replacing on my car. Now the part is, you know, the, I don't know what you call it, the bonnet, you call it the hood, you know, the bit that comes up, that covers the engine, that comes up, mm -hmm. you know. And, and <clears throat> my son was doing something in my car and the, it's got a little arm that keeps it up and he didn't release the arm and he just slammed the bonnet down and he broke it. Now, I went to a garage to see if I could talk, you know, talk to them about getting a part. And I don't even know how to open this front bit at the front. So that's why I've, if it's something to do with the car, I've got to go to somebody else and say, can you help me with this? Mm -hmm. Now, I'd like that to, I'd, I'd like that to be online as well, because you get some, I've now just got James H. Dickinson, lovely guy. There, doesn't he look nice? <laughs> it's going to come after me, of course. US Army Command and General Staff College. However, he did go to the US Naval War College. Now you see, Dana, that is something you can look at. Because... And, uh, and I, I also want to mention something here. Um, one thing that all of the scammers do is uh, to want everything to be between you and him. Yes. Um, just wait until I come. I will talk to your family. Wait mm -hmm. until I come. Then you introduce me to your family. But if you really want to be building anything uh, with this person, you need to involve your friend and family and let them to be uh your second eye maybe their judgment uh um, life love can be blind so uh if in my own case if i was just not um letting him to go into my mind and i was just um sharing this with my parents of course uh even my friend, close friend, everything was different. But yeah. for some reason, people trust somebody who, who just met, yeah. whereas the long, lifelong friend or a family member. And you know, and, as well, Jenna, I think that if you think about your friend, if you had a friend that was going through this, and that friend said, oh, Dana, I've met somebody online. And he's this, and then he's that, and he's a doctor, you know, he's in, he's in Lebanon, and he's this. Now, I think if somebody told that to you, you might think, really? I think there's something a bit wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, you haven't had the constant conditioning of the scammer. So, and, and I think if you tell somebody, or even tell yourself, you will start to feel that there is something a bit odd, something a bit wrong there. And so, yeah. you know, and so they get away with everything and far too easily. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, how to stand back and not send money because Dana, another question that we get all the time, mm -hmm. how do I get my money back? Because people assume the money's going to come back. Yeah. When you give money, it's gone. You cannot reverse it. No one, absolutely no one can uh, give your money, help you to get your money back. Uh, and unfortunately, the second scam it just happened after that, that people trust um, somebody who offers help uh, give me like percentage of the money that you lost and i will help you to recover the money and basically it's the same scammer or the same group of a scammer um they already know just just question yourself how this person knows that i yeah. i am a scam isn't it why yeah. this person is up. providing services without knowing me 
No, absolutely is wrong because it's the same scammer under the another name, another profile, another number, contact information, trying to scam you for the second time. And unfortunately, and of course, we see this every single day. I mean, yeah. after a scam, the people just come back with a secondary yeah. scam. And, and sometimes, you know, I sort of like think there's something they're not telling me. And I'll say, and I, so I'll say to them, you know, you be very careful. I'm going to warn you about the recovery scam. Well, yes. Well, yes, I, I did lose $500 there or $2,000 there or something like that. And, and then I go back to my, my man from Australia who, um, oh, hi, Melody. This is, this is now a huge problem for bulking and many others. Well, yes, yeah, it is. It's a huge problem. Go on, on, um, go on the front of our Instagram page and just look at, right near the top, a post I've just put on from Josh Hopkins and see that man's face. And that is a disgrace. Absolutely disgrace. It is a huge problem for bull, kit pussies, a Camacho, James, uh, James Cameo Mabry. Um, they don't ask for this. They do, do not ask for this. We can give people advice on how to get out of it, but, but they don't have a choice. They're, they're just in it forever, you know. And so it's got to be stopped from our side. We've, we've got to get this message across because luckily we have a lady today, then this afternoon, was about to sell her house and she realized oh, and she did, didn't she's lost a lot of money but she was about to sell her house now that to me how can we sell your house for a stranger and a person you've never met but i don't know how but people do so i'm not going to judge i know it happens um but Let's go back to you, Dana, because it took you a long time to really get over it, didn't it? Yes, uh, I believe, I mean, I'm not saying that the money is not a big factor. It is, but you can work hard and replace the money. But I believe the emotional effect is even worse than losing money uh, because this course is going to be with you forever. But over time, you learn um, how to deal with it, how think about what happened and um, accept it basically. But it will, I still have flashes from the back, even today. Um, yeah, I know. The only thing I was thinking was uh, what happened before. Last night I slept for three hours and the whole night I had a nightmare. I was just seeing the different scene of what happened to me. And I'm somebody who basically right now helping others, but I understand what people are going through. For me, I went through two years of uh, counseling and uh, to find out what was, I mean, it was like 20 stages for me that I went through. Um, and sometimes it was back and forth, sometimes between anger and revenge, sometimes between yeah. being shame of myself and blaming the person in the photo. So, yeah, it's not easy. It but, isn't, you know, um, I'm going to say what I say every week. And I'll never stop saying this, that you, have this for the rest of your life the man that they're using in the pictures has it every day for the rest of his life scam boys are over there they won't even remember you they scam even boys. don't know you uh, they even don't know some don't. of them they don't know even your name no they don't they don't we know that you, you uh, it's, uh, it's the... funny actually i need to mention this because uh it was uh like last month uh, I got a message from the scammer and uh, he said that how much uh, he he was um, impressed with looking at my beautiful smile 
uh, at the picture and he likes to know me better. And I was just thinking, hmm, my picture is a picture of cat. <laughs> He even didn't look at it. So th this message is kind of copy paste and randomly yeah. sending to the people. And especially if you were a victim of a scam before, you are in the soccer list. So expect to hear from another scammer or the same scammer with another name and profile. Uh, and this is, I mean, people make choices. The first time that you make a mistake and um, it's kind of normal. We are human. We all are making mistakes. Um, one thing that I learned, actually, it was something that Sandy told me um, like a couple of years ago, that first time consider as a mistake. The second time is a choice you make. And I strongly believe on this because when first time you have no idea, like me, after everything finished, um, the boss, the, the big boss said, hey, we are all scammers from Nigeria. Go on the internet and see how we operate. And that, that was the time I uh, searched, what is the scam? I yeah. middle search yeah. a scam. And of course, <laughs> of course if you, um, study, you can be studying it forever once you yeah, find so out. This I understand, but seeing the people that coming after one scam to the second and the third and fourth that is really choices that they make uh because they have this mentality they know what happened to them they lost money they suffer a lot i cannot understand how they put themselves again on that situation and go through that i have a lady who, who plays on words with friends and a daughter came to me and she was in England so I, I called this lady and you know she had been scammed four times four men on oil rigs all contacted her through words with friends and she paid for for lots of money out and I said don't you think they all sound the same she said well, well yeah really but I like the way they sound so no need to keep paying for it but four I I I there must have been something somewhere that thought this is very similar you know um and yeah they, they just go ahead and do it you know and you're right the first time it's unfortunate but it does get to be you would think you would think that people would stop and think because i wouldn't give a penny away them they'd be no good with me at all um you never have been <laughs> um but yeah gen four you know um and it does come down to people who need to get off the phones because don't say to me about teenagers on phones because women over 50 are worse you know the ones we we see dana that's doing you know being on multiple scams they must yeah. be forever on the phone how many people do we look at and look at their friends list and they've got lots of scammers in their friends list this is very sad how they can manage to talk to oh, no. I mean, many people yeah. their whole life is like on internet and answering their strangers that's very sad yeah that's and they all sad. Um, i'm sorry but they do they do all sound the same so you know um Yes, you've got to come to a point where you think, yeah, he just sounds like Eric. Eric sounds like Kelvin. Kelvin sounds like James Dickinson. Um, we've got to make people just stand back, treat this as your front door, mm -hmm. and yeah. do not let anybody in there that you would not let in your front door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what everybody, I mean, we always say uh, to our kids to not to talk to strangers. And uh, the reason we are saying that because we know kids have a tendency to share the personal information. Yeah. But it's very upsetting to see that the adults are doing the same thing. 
the same thing that they're advising their children um, to not talk with a stranger, do not share your personal information with anybody you don't know. I'm and they go and do exactly the same thing. Yes, Gina. Granny, Granny Things USA is one of my favorite fishing sites. I go and just put a couple of little silly um, comments on there on the morning and kept going the rest of the day. But our farm takes quite a lot of them, so it's quite nice. Um, but yes, and and you know, watch what if you've got if you've got a, an older person, don't just think oh they're all right. But, you know, they're talking to somebody on the internet. They're always on the phone. It's not all right. Just make sure that you know who they're talking to, because there's danger. There's a lot of danger there, and I find it. I find it upsetting talking to the victims. I find it upsetting talking to. Um, I find it quite upsetting talking to families, especially where the victim has turned their back on the family. Because they don't ask for that. And, and so many do, don't they? They'll push the family away. Yeah. So if you yeah. could go I back. Myself. I did myself. And uh, um, when I'm thinking, I have so many regrets. I was able to uh, stop very early instead of going through six months of wondering and uh, pressure that I was under, just uh, dealing with. And it was not a, I mean, it was a nice wording, one situation after situation. Yeah. And it's more than being nice i was under a stress how to deal with it and it it was like a burden <laughs> and yeah, if i right. had a second second person beside me or i was trusting one of my family member or my best friend who i chit chat all the time maybe the situation was different yeah. don't keep it to yourself just don't, just don't. And yeah. don't let yeah. anybody come between you and the pe people that you've known all your life, or the people that's just really good friends that you mm -hmm. call friends. Um, yeah, chat groups on online. And I just don't like online, Melody. I really don't. I used to, till I got to know more. Um, but I don't, because now, Scamming is so easy, and I'm not insulting anybody by saying that, but scamming is so easy. There is no place left online, on a chat group, on social media, or on a game that is safe. No, internet is not safe. I mean, people come to us and something good come out of it. <laughs> yeah, they come to us and say, what's the best dating site to go on? There isn't one. There isn't one. Even the paid ones, they are not safe. So, and also you don't need to know the safest ones if you look after yourself right from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Because they can't get to you if you do your due diligence right at the beginning before you get involved. Um, then that would just change everything. It really would. It would they would get a lot less, put it that way. You know. P has been so good, she's still sat there, bless her. Yeah, as long as I hold her, she's not barking. I know if I put her down, Deal she's bark. going to bark. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, at least you don't get a bird flying on your head. Or try because when I, I had my Zoom call with Andrew, I had to leave the room because he was so noisy. And I was quite nervous because Andrew's quite important. And you know what he's like. He's very straight to talk to. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. And I was trying to be really sort of professional about this. And he was just getting louder and louder. And I'm thinking he's doing this on purpose. So I had to leave the room because my bald eagle over there was too noisy, <laughs> which was awfully embarrassing. It's good job he was a nice man. 
He did laugh. He's very nice man. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. He laughed. Um, you can see that we're human. But anyway, Dana, thanks for doing this. You're welcome. And I hope uh, I am sorry be able that. to reach more people. And uh, well, we never can get rid of the scam. The scammers are going to be there. But I hope uh, we be able to deliver our message and be able to uh, reach more people. And uh, uh, I, say, I, I, I believe only uh, each person can uh, prevent the scam um, itself. Not uh, should not expect others to to help. Do not expect Facebook to uh, stop no. uh, um, fake accounts. It won't happen. You need to learn how to protect yourself from don't uh, say being fired. Don't say things like, well, the police should do more. They should get them arrested. They should get them caught. Yeah, they should. They're not going to. So yeah. that's out the window. Facebook's not going to do any more. So don't sit there and moan thinking, oh, Facebook should do this. Meta should do this. TikTok should do this. Yes, they should. But they're not going to. So we're not going to just accept it because other people won't do their job. Thank you, Gina. I'm having KFC tomorrow. <laughs> I just don't fancy going out. So we haven't care of saying here. Um, so yeah, it's all we can do. And I want to get to the stage. Since I started doing this, the stage I want to get to is people will sort of see, see you know, James Dickinson and, and hello. I mean, Austin, he's not as good as Austin Scott Miller. I got a hello pretty from him. Um, you get that and you think, oh, it's one of those scammers and just get rid of it at that point. And if we can get to that stage, I call it the Nigerian print stage because everybody knows about the Nigerian print scams now. You know, I'm the Nigerian prince. I've got $27 million. I want to give it to you. And people know about that now. So I want to get to the, to the point um, where actually where people look at it and it's a scam and just get rid of it because nobody's going to stop them doing it nobody's going to stop them coming to you so we get away thinking about that but just imagine if everything went silent just imagine if they got nobody to talk back to them yeah how different that would be when the audience are taken away there won't be any scam as simple as that yeah i always say if you stop talking to strangers we could stop scams tomorrow if you stop sending money we could stop scams forever yes. that's what it's down to and i don't i'm not victim blaming i'm not putting it on anybody else's shoulders but it's got to be on your shoulders because nobody else is going to do anything about it we can't, nobody is, Meta isn't, police aren't, because they can't, Meta can, they don't, TikTok, bloody Chinese, they're not going to do anything, um, and West Africa can find it too easy, and they've got no scruples, they've got no emotions, they've got no anything, so to them it's just one big joke, and the more they get, the bigger the joke, and if they can get you to commit suicide, they're having a party, and that's what we're up against. Online safety begins with you. Yes. And yes. go back and go back to what Sophie said before. Walk away. Walk away, yeah. Think yeah. enough of yourself. Run. To walk. <laughs> yeah, well, run away. Yeah. <laughs> so, Jenna, I hope we can do this again. Yeah, I hope so. But before you go, I just want to say something. Um, <laughs> Um, and uh, basically, I want to say happy birthday uh, <laughs> thank and uh, thank you for being there for me and for all the people because my life was different today if it was not for you. So I appreciate and I know everybody who are right now uh, just listening to this, uh, you touch their heart on, at some point of your life. And we are 
very, very lucky to have you in our life. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. I do need to hear that sometimes because I do. I'm not as confident as I sort of come over. I do have big crisis of confidence.